Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and quick review of the MP Power Wireless IP Camera. This is a home security camera that competes with the likes of the Piper and V uh, and other home security solutions. It sells on Amazon for only $55, which is one of the least expensive uh, security cameras that we've seen. It does have a pretty good construction quality. With that being said, it's also very simple. It doesn't have too many bells and whistles going for it. Aside from the camera, there aren't any other extra accessories either, such as ways to make maybe control the lighting or when to turn a light on or off or smart plugs, none of that stuff is included in the box. Otherwise, it has a fairly attractive design and the actual application does work pretty well. It's also quite easy to set up. So compared to other kind of um, up and coming brand names that we're not too familiar with, uh, the MP Power solution seems to be one of the better ones that we've come across. It retails for 100 bucks, but again, the street price is only $55. In terms of specifications, it has a resolution of 1280 by 720 p so this is a 720p resolution hd camera good enough for uh, security purposes it's going to alert you if motion has been detected so that you can see if you know someone has entered your house and you don't want them to uh, also has this aluminum stand which is quite sturdy and uh, very attractive looking it is a fairly discreet camera not the most discreet in the world it does look quite elegant but i guess you would hide it in between books or covers if you don't want someone to really notice it and of course contents include a uh, proprietary charging cable for power as well as a usb socket. There are mounting uh, screws and brackets if you want to have a more permanent setup on a wall. And of course there are a number of different instruction manuals. One is printed in uh, English, whereas the, ones, the other ones are printed in foreign languages. So just taking a look at the first one, which is English, it shows off the various features, what is included, the various ports. It's printed in full color and shows you what the interface of the app looks like, which we'll also show you later on in this review. Uh, but overall, very straightforward and quite easy to set up. There's also a installation stick for alignment if you are mounting it onto the wall with these screws. So taking everything off to the side and taking a closer look at just the unit, uh, again it is a fairly elegant looking security camera. We're going to peel off the sticker. It does have a fairly reflective and shiny finish on the front so it does attract a fair amount of fingerprints and dust. That is something to quickly note but otherwise uh, again it looks pretty elegant. You have access just to the camera lens on the very top. Uh, you also have some LEDs which shows you when it's recording video, when it's in maybe a photo mode uh, and there's also a few other modes for IR sensing so in the dark you can still access what you're seeing. Uh, the size features access to a micro SD card slot so you can record the video directly directly on the unit itself. Uh, if you want to do that, it supports up to 64 gigabytes. There is a microphone as well on this unit, so it can pick up sound if um, a sound reaches a certain level. It can also alert you of that uh, on your phone in real time. It connects using Wi-Fi, of course. The back features the two speakers because this also offers the ability for two-way communication. You can talk directly into this, kind of like a Skype camera, but obviously the person can't see your face, but you can see theirs. Uh, on the back, there's also access to the power adapter, really down below here, a reset pen, and that's basically it. The stand itself, again, pretty nice and classy. There's also a tripod mount for another type of setup solution, and you can easily adjust the angle of this particular camera um, up to 360 degrees, which is quite nice and impressive. So overall, a very good and compelling design as far as construction is concerned. Uh, other things to quickly note, there's also digital zooming on board, but there's no optical zooming, of course. Um, in terms of uh, functionality, there is no direct uh, remote recording. You can't record it to the cloud, but you can record it onto the SD card. So it's kind of like the Xiaomi Xiaoyi security camera that we also saw. Uh, almost. Here we have the MV Power Cube Wi-Fi camera plugged to the wall. And the first time that you set things up, there's going to be a beeping sound. So it's going to start beeping after it's ready to pair. And you download the app through the App Store using iOS or Android. It's called Cot Pro. So C-O-T-P-R-O. -O. Once you open that up, uh, the first thing it's going to ask you is to scan and find the camera and then it's going to ask you to enter the password using the app so that the camera can connect to your home's Wi-Fi network. And afterwards, once you open up the app, no matter where you are, let's say anywhere in the world, if I'm in Asia and my home, let's say, is in America, I can still access and see and monitor what's going on. So this is pretty easy to do. You can actually connect multiple cameras at the same time, which is uh, quite handy if you want to purchase a set and then use it at multiple rooms and uh, living rooms, perhaps, inside your house. So taking a quick look at the app first, 
first. Uh, right now we have one of the cams set up. You can change the name as well as uh, enter a password so that not just anyone can see this camera's uh, viewfinder. So you have to tap and enter a passcode each time that you want to see what's going on inside of this uh, field of view. There's also a bit of information here including settings. You can configure it differently, connect it to a different Wi-Fi network, so on and so forth. I can also slide to the left here and take a look at uh, snapshots and as well as videos I want to record. Although to access this functionality, you do need to have a micro SD card pre-inserted into the camera because you can't store content directly over the air onto the phone. So that's one of the limitations. You can also set an alarm uh, as well as give you notifications whenever motion is detected. So that's going to give you a push notification that perhaps someone has broken into your house and you should take a quick look at the app. So if I wanted to go inside this app, I'm just going to tap on it. It takes a few seconds to connect. Um, and afterwards, the speed is pretty decent, I'd say. It's not the fastest uh, you know, Wi-Fi camera in the world. There's still about a one to two second delay whenever something happens. It's gonna vary according to the speed of your Wi-Fi network, but you can see here that the overall resolution of the video is quite good. It also broadcasts sound. So if you have the volume turned on your phone, you can still hear what's going on around you uh, in the house, which is cool. Uh, the microphone is a little bit on the tinnier side of the spectrum, but overall it's not bad as far as the listening, if you know any motion or any sound is going on if there's a burglar. So if there's a, a window that's been broken or someone's breaking into the house, it would defi definitely be able to communicate using this as a radio or a walkie-talkie. So taking, doing a quick uh, sample here, you can see we have a basic info on the very top, including a time and date stamp, so you can record that more easily. It shows you the number of viewers, so if you have another app downloaded onto a se second smartphone or tablet, you can monitor this uh, same camera by entering uh, you know, the, the password that we talked about before. So it's uh, pretty handy and easy to do. I can also Taking a look at some other features on here, you can actually take images directly on the phone, although for video recording, you're still limited to just a memory card on on the camera. So if I capture a snapshot, you can see that it's going to save that over here and I can also manage that later on in my gallery. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, as far as the walkie-talkie functionality, if I tap on the microphone key here, it's actually uh, going to be able to act as, a, again, a walkie-talkie communicator so I can talk to it if someone else is at home, even though they can't really see me. So for instance, this is a test. Hello. This is a test. Hello. So again, there's a little bit of echo going on, but the speaker here is definitely loud enough. You can also set an alarm. So uh, in the case that someone does break in, it kind of scares them off, or you can try that. Um, so that's one of the things that you can try on this. So all in all, the video quality as well as the app performance really isn't bad. It's easy to pair, to set up, and the video quality is better than I expected. The uh, actual lens itself does a fair job even under darker environments and has a pretty decent wide angle field of view, I'd say. So really not bad. And for this price point, I think this is a pretty elegant digital Wi-Fi security camera. You can check out more details about the MB Power Cube Wi-Fi camera in our official written review, which has a bit more details as well as the sample clips and images that we took. But this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.